The rhythmic chant of Na Myoho Renge Kyo echoes through homes and temples worldwide, a cornerstone practice for millions of Nichiren Buddhists. But what makes this phrase so powerful, and how does it connect with the Gohonzon, the sacred object of devotion in Nichiren Buddhism? To understand this profound relationship, we must delve into the heart of Nichiren's teachings and explore the mystical synergy between sound and form, between the spoken word and the written mandala. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, often referred to as the Dai Moku or the Great Title, is more than just a string of syllables. It's a condensed expression of the ultimate truth of life as taught in the Lotus Sutra. Nichiren Daishonin wrote, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the essence of the Lotus Sutra and the eye of all the scriptures. This statement underscores the centrality of this phrase to Nichiren Buddhist practice. But what does Nam Myoho Renge Kyo mean? Breaking it down, Nam comes from the Sanskrit word Namas, meaning devotion or dedication. Myoho Renge Kyo is the Japanese title of the Lotus Sutra. Myoho translates to mystic law, referring to the fundamental law governing life and the universe. Renge means lotus flower, symbolizing the simultaneous cause and effect nature of life. Kyo means sutra or teaching. Together, the phrase can be interpreted as, I dedicate myself to the mystic law of cause and effect through sound and vibration. The act of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is believed to align one's life with the rhythms of the universe, tapping into the inherent Buddha nature within all beings. Nichiren taught that by chanting this phrase with faith and determination, practitioners could reveal their innate Buddha nature and transform their lives. He wrote, When you chant Myoho and recite Renge, you must summon up deep faith that Myoho Renge Kyo is your life itself. Now, Let's turn our attention to the Gohonzon. The Gohonzon is a mandala, a graphic representation of the Buddhist universe, inscribed by Nichiren himself. At its center is the phrase Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, surrounded by the names of various Buddhist deities, bodhisattvas, and protective forces. The Gohonzon serves as a physical representation of the universal law expressed in Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. So, how do these two elements, the chanted Dai Moku and the written Gohonzon, connect. They are, in essence, two sides of the same coin. The chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the dynamic, active expression of the law, while the Gohonzon is its static, visual representation. When practitioners chant before the Gohonzon, they are harmonizing these two aspects, creating a powerful synergy that enhances their Buddhist practice. Nichiren explained this connection in a letter to one of his disciples, Never seek this Gohonzon outside yourself. The Gohonzon exists only within the mortal flesh of us ordinary people who embrace the Lotus Sutra and chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This profound statement reveals that the Gohonzon is not merely an external object of worship, but a mirror reflecting the Buddha nature within each individual. When we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo while focusing on the Gohonzon, we are essentially calling forth our own innate Buddha nature. The Gohonzon serves as a kind of cosmic tuning fork, helping us align our lives with the fundamental rhythm of the universe expressed in Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. It's a tangible reminder of the intangible law that permeates all existence. The act of chanting before the Gohonzon creates a three way resonance between the sound of our voice, the visual representation of the law, and our inner Buddha nature. This resonance is believed to create a powerful field of positive energy, fostering personal transformation and influencing our environment for the better. Daisaku Akeda, when we chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to the Gohonzon, we're not simply worshipping an external object of devotion. We're tapping into the highest life condition of Buddhahood, or enlightenment, within our own lives. The relationship between chanting and the Gohonzon can also be understood through the concept of the three secrets in Buddhism, the secret of the body, the secret of the mouth, and the secret of the mind. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo engages the secret of the mouth, speech, while focusing on the Gohonzon engages the secret of the body, sight. The faith and intention behind these actions engage the secret of the mind. 
When all three are in harmony, it creates optimal conditions for revealing one's Buddha nature. It's important to note that while the Gohonzon is deeply revered, it's not considered an object of worship in the traditional sense. Nichiren was clear that the true object of worship is the law of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo itself, which exists within each person. The Gohonzon is a tool to help us connect with this law, not a substitute for it. In his writings, Nichiren often used the metaphor of a mirror to explain the function of the Gohonzon. Just as a mirror reflects whatever is before it, the Gohonzon reflects the state of our own life when we chant to it. If we chant with doubt or confusion, that's what we'll see reflected back. But if we chant with faith and determination, we'll see our own Buddha nature reflected in the Gohonzon. This idea is beautifully expressed in a passage from Nichiren's writings, showing profound compassion for those unable to comprehend the gem of the doctrine of three thousand realms in a single moment of life, the Buddha wrapped it within the five characters of Myoho Renge Kyo, with which he then adorned the necks of the ignorant people of the latter age. The practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo to the Gohonzon is not about asking for favors from an external force. Instead, it's a process of awakening to our own innate potential for wisdom, courage, and compassion. The Gohonzon serves as a kind of spiritual technology, helping us to focus our minds and align our lives with the highest truth of Buddhism. As we chant, the written characters on the Gohonzon come alive, resonating with the sound of our voices and the intention in our hearts. This creates a powerful feedback loop, amplifying our determination and deepening our connection to the mystic law. Over time, this practice can lead to profound changes in our lives and in our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. It's worth noting that the effectiveness of this practice doesn't depend on understanding every detail of Buddhist philosophy. Nichiren emphasized faith and practice over intellectual understanding, believing that the benefits of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo were available to anyone who engaged in the practice sincerely, regardless of their level of doctrinal knowledge. As one's practice deepens, many find that their understanding naturally grows. The daily act of chanting to the Gohonzon becomes a form of active meditation, leading to insights about oneself and the nature of reality. This is why many Nichiren Buddhists describe their practice as a lifelong journey of discovery and growth. The connection between chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and the Gohonzon is not just theoretical. Millions of practitioners around the world report experiencing concrete benefits from this practice, ranging from increased confidence and reduced stress to major life breakthroughs and spiritual awakenings. While individual experiences vary, the underlying principle remains the same. Through chanting and focusing on the Gohonzon, we can tap into our highest potential and create positive change in our lives and the world around us. The chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo and the Gohonzon are intricately connected, forming the core of Nichiren Buddhist practice. The chant is the dynamic expression of the mystic law, while the Gohonzon is its visual representation. Together, they create a powerful synergy that helps practitioners reveal their innate Buddha nature and align their lives with the fundamental truth of existence. As Nichiren himself wrote, when you chant Myoho and recite Renge, you must summon up deep faith that Myoho Renge Kyo is your life itself. This profound connection between sound, sight, and faith continues to inspire and transform lives, making Nichiren Buddhism a vital and relevant spiritual path in the modern world.